I think the book this film is based on, which is called The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay, is one of the best books I've ever read. It did something very different in a very well-tread genre, the home invasion genre, and I think it's just superbly well-written and works extensively as a piece of literature. I think the movie had a lot to live up to. The film impressed me somewhat. The first half is amazing. It's just a line-to-line -line adaptation with few, if any, differences from the book. I didn't like what they did with the news program. In the book, it was a lot more subtle, but in the movie, it was just a flat-out 100-foot tsunami. But other than that, I think the first half of that film was amazing. It was just the perfect adaptation. I was skeptical on Dave Bautista acting as Leonard, but I was extremely surprised and delighted that he blew it out of the ballpark. I think the rest of the characters were great too. The casting is just genuinely fantastic in this film. However, the second half ruined it entirely. I'm not going to spoil it too much, but it suddenly threw away one of the most impactful scenes in the novel. And I think the scene in that novel that it didn't adapt in the movie was the one scene that separated this book from other home invasion thriller horror books. And I think that was just utterly idiotic and a very M. Night Shyamalan move. M. Night Shyamalan just has this tendency of messing things up in the third act. And this film, Knock at the Cabin, is far from a deviation of that rule. And it's really sad because that first half of that movie really is amazing. It's so well filmed. It's just such a good example of an adaptation. I was so ready to give it a 9 out of 10. And then the second half happened and disappointed me utterly, and now I can't give the film more than a 6 out of 10. But when I say that first half really was good, it really, really was good. And I just feel so disappointed on how the film wrapped up. I hate movies like these, where there's such a strong beginning or such a strong ending, and then the film just lacks in everything else. So even though this film had so much fantastic, beautiful, amazing scenes, I cannot in good faith recommend it. It is just yet another disappointment helmed by M. Night Shyamalan. I rate Knock at the Cabin a 6 out of 10.